Thank you to all of my subscribers. If you have not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to my channel, like my videos, share my videos. Um, actually, if you're actually having any problem which regarding sewing, you can actually drop a comment down on the comment section. And uh, if you actually find this uh, video very helpful, please don't hesitate to hit on the like button. Like I said, if you are new to the channel, subscribe and click on the bell so you get all notification of my videos anytime I upload a new video. Actually, today I'm going to be teaching you how to cut a, a, a peplum top with a, a princess cut. Uh, this is not is not a buster. Like you can see, what I'm what I'm putting on now, this kind of top, but it's a peplum top. It's going to be having the the um, princess cut. It's going to be having princess cut. That's what I'm going to be teaching. This top they actually use them for all these um Turkish gowns, Turkish top most of all these fabrics that, you, that we call already made so that's what i'm going to be teaching you but actually i'm making use of ankara fabric you can go out there buy a fabric like this um, top that i'm putting on you can buy a fabric and make and use something like this fabric to make this uh princess that uh peplum top that i'm about to cut for you so now let's get to the business so actually i've already laid out my ankara fabric for time so actually i'm using two yards of fabric that's what i'm using so I, i've already cut it out the bust for this uh, measurement is actually 32 inches um i'm telling you the, the measurement this will help you like for beginners this will actually help you to know how to fold your fabrics so i'm using 32 inches when you divide 32 into four you actually have eight inches you have eight inches this is my eight inches and then i added four inches to it this is my 8 inches, 1, 2, 3, 4. So I have, I folded my fabrics at 12. So most time, always add at least 4 inches to it. This will actually help. So I actually got my fabric folded into, into 4 parts. This is the, the back is folded into 2 and the front is folded into 2. So, and you can see the back is 1 inch bigger than the front part. It's 1 inch bigger. Why? What is the essence? Is this is the part I'm going to be putting the zip I'm be inserting the zip at the back so that's the essence why it is bigger so the next thing I'm going to be doing now I'm going to be measuring the shoulder first of all the length the full length of this um, blouse is actually 20 actually 23 inches so and uh, but the upper part which is the, the way I'm going to be cutting my peplum from is actually uh, 15, 14 inches so I added 2 inches as my allowance, so what I have here, the entire length that I have is here is 16 inches. So this is my 14 inches and this 11, I marked out 11, this 11 it actually is the, is the under bust measurement. Since it's not a bust here, I'm not going to be dealing with the nipple part, so that's why I don't have that. But what I'm dealing with is the under bust measurement and then the and then the, the full length as in that's where it's going to be i'm going to be having my cut from like i always say in most of my videos always measure to know where you're going to be putting your cut always you can take your tape and measure and say okay i actually want to cut here i want to cut from the belly button part always measure so what i have i said is 14 and added two inches so i have 16 inches so the next thing i'm going to be doing now i'm going to be measuring out the shoulder and the shoulder measurement for this uh, illustration is actually uh, 14 inches 14 inches for this when you're cutting a blouse like this you divide 14 into two you divide 14 into two when you divide 14 into two you have seven inches so you take your tape like this and then you place like this this is seven inches so i mark my seven inches like this and then I'll add one inch as my allowance. I'm going to be using one inch as my seam allowance. So I'll add one inch like this. This is my seam allowance. Then from my, from the seam allowance line, I'll just take my tape like this. Before I started, this, this um, part, this bl black part is just like the edge of the fabric. So I'm going to be using it. Most times what I normally do 
if if those part was not here i would actually leave like half an inch for the shoulder seam allowance but since i have it here this so i'm going to be using it as my seam allowance so at the end of the day i'll, I'll use it as my seam allowance i'll sew along this line so it will be my seam allowance so you can use half an inch as your seam allowance for the top for the down part i used two inches so from this point now minusing the seam allowance part of the shoulder i'll take my tape like this and i'll measure eight inches this is my eight inches here like this and then i'll join my lines i'll connect my lines that's my allowance shoulder line i'll connect it i'll connect it to the eight inches line that i measured to the eight inches this eight inches is actually for the for the armhole so i'll just take my chalk like this and then make a curve for my armhole you can actually use your armhole curve if you have it or you can use your normal regular french curve so that's my armhole line so the next thing i'm going to be measuring i'm going to be measuring the the bust for the bust you just come down just below the armhole like i told you i said i'm using 32 so when you divide 32 inches into four you have eight inches so this is my eight inches this is actually my eight inches so i'll be adding three and half inch as my allowance most times i always like adding excess allowance to my fabric if you have been following my videos you have seen because i don't always want to run into problems so i'll use three and a half for this part that's for the bust part then for the then for the the, the the stomach part which is the the tummy part for this illustration i'm be using 27 inches so 27 inches when you divide 27 inches into two in sorry into four most times if you don't know how to divide you can always fold your tape like this into four this will help you to get it accurately and then you just place on it like this so you just place like this you have seven and then for this part i'm going to be using three inches i'm not going to be using three and a half for the down part which is the the tummy area i'll be using three inches so i'll just connect my lines like this I'll just connect my lines like this i'll connect my lines then the next thing i'm going to be doing now i'm going to be cutting the the, the princess cut out how to get your princess princess cut that how to get it how to cut out your princess cut that you know initially while while i was measuring the armhole i used eight inches so half of eight is actually four inches so i'll just take my tape like this i'll take my tape like this and then place on half i want half this is my half which is four inches so i'll mark it this is the middle of the, the my armhole this is four inches then from those four inches I'll, I'll measure half an inch you can actually use one inch but i'll be using half so you measure half an inch this is the half an inch here this is the the midpoint which is four and then this is half an inch so the next i'll just make a curve like this just make like a slant down from the the middle points that's the midpoint of the armhole this is my my half an inch is still here so i'm leaving that part so the next thing i'm going to be doing now from the top just from the top just below the the half an inch line i'll take my tape like this and i'll i'll measure five and a half inches from this top I'll just mark it like this and then connect i just i'll just be connecting it immediately so you understand what i'm doing i'll just connect like this and then i'll come down to the the the, the bust part which is down the down part of my of my armhole i'll put take my tape like this i'll place like this and i'll measure four and a half this is my four and a half i'll connect again i'll just connect the line continue like this and then from this is remember i told you this is the under bust measurement that's the under bust so this is the under bust i'll just take it like this again and reduce it to four inches i'll just come like this this is my four inches and then i'll walk my way down to the down part with the four inches so this is my four inches down like this so you can see my curve this is my princess that curve so the next thing i'm going to be doing now for me to cut out the that you'll find that that you know in, in most fabrics when we're doing the normal regular waist that you normally hold but for this i'm going to be cutting it out so you remember the half an inch that i told you i said you can actually use so for somebody that is a little bit busted you can use one inch so this but this i'm using four i'm sorry i'm using half an inch so i'm just going to be maintaining my half an inch when i get to this uh, point 
to this point that's the underbust part i'm still going to be using the half i'm going to be measuring half an inch from here from the underbust part so i'll connect the half an inch from this top to this point i'll just connect it like this i'll connect my half an inch like this you see to the to the underbust point and then just take it down once i get to this point i'll join my line back i'll join my line back to this point like this so i'll join it back and then this is it like this so the next thing i'm going to be doing now i'm going to be doing my shoulder slant but before then i'll cut it out and then do my shoulder slant for you to see so i'll be cutting now i'll take my scissors like this and then just cut outside my lines So I've cut this point off. So in cutting this part, I actually want you to see it. So I'm, I'm going to be cutting like this down, then cutting this point and then removing this middle piece. We'll cut like this. And then for this top part, you cut like this so this is the the dart part is already out so you can see my princess dart you can see it is really looking good i used it for both the back and the front so the next thing i'm going to be doing i'm going to be cutting the neck and the neck so i'll just leave the side piece out i'm going to be cutting the neck i'm going to be doing a a regular um, round neck so i'll be using three inches here i'll just measure my three inch like this from the this the width and then the depth of it i'll be making use of uh, five inches for my depth that's the depth of the neck like i say i like i normally say in most of my videos you can actually measure how deep you actually want the neck measurement to be so i'll be making use of five so i'll just connect the lines and make a square here I'll make a square once I make a square so the next thing I'm going to be doing I'll just take my French curve like this and make a slant curve here I just make a slant curve so with this slant curve once I cut it out I'll have my perfect round then for the back measurement I'll just take my chalk like this and maintain the line from behind so it depends if you actually want it to the back to be deeper you just come down a bit and mark from this point but for this um illustration i don't want a deep back so i'm going to be using uh, two inches from here for the back neck so i'll just mark it like this and then take my curve also and then just make a slant a slanted curve out from this so i'll cut out the back measurement the sorry the back neck first and then cut out the front neck So the next thing I'm going to be doing, I'm going to be cutting my shoulder slant. So for the shoulder slant, what are the what is the essence of the shoulder slant? The, the shoulder slant, the essence is for your the shoulder for it not to stand after sewing. So that's why we normally slant the shoulder to make it to relax. So what I'm going to be doing, I'm going to be taking um half an inch from this shoulder point. I'll take half an inch. You can actually use one inch. So it depends. On what is working for you so I'm gonna be using half an inch if it's somebody that is bust you so busty you can use that last from bust 40 above you can you use one inch for the shoulder slant and then so I have my half an inch here so I just take my ruler like this and then slant it to to meet the meet the, the the edge of the the neck measurement I'll just slant it like this and then just take my scissors and then cut it out and then cut it out so this is the, the back this is the back so i'll open up the back like this i'll open up the back i'll just set this aside this is the middle you can see my princess that is so perfect you can just see it see my princess you can see it so this is the front and then this is the back 
and then this is the back and then this is the back you can see it this is the back and that is the front so the next thing i'm going to be doing now i'm going to be cutting the the peplum like i told you initially i said the, the waist for this um for this um illustration it's actually 27 inches so i folded out my fabric i just got the, the other half part the other one yard part of the the fabric i told you i'm using two yards so i folded it into four so what i'm gonna be doing now i'm gonna be using the freehand method to cut this peplum for you i'm not going to be using 6.28 so i'm going to be using the freehand method and for the freehand method if 27 that's the waist measurement that we used initially so this is the 27 when you divide 27 divide it into four like this so i'm having uh, seven inches so i'll just take my tape like this i'll take my tape like this i'll, I'll measure four I'll measure four inches from this point and then four inches from this point and then I'll, I'll make a curve and then measure to see if I can if I'll get my seven inches so what I actually have here is six inches so that means I'm gonna be using five inches so I'll just take my tape like this and measure four and a half let me not use five let me use try four and a half for this method you just try you you measure before you cut just mark it out first a bit but if you want if you are not conversant with this you can use the 6.28 formula of cutting your flay you can use it i also have it on my channel you can use it so i'm just using this for the sake of people that don't know how to do this freehand method so that's why i'm doing it you can see i have my seven inches here so the next thing I'm going to be doing, like I told you, I said the, the blouse, uh, the upper part was 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. So what we're actually looking for now, I'm going to, I'm looking for, for 7 inch. This is actually my 7 inch. I have half an inch here for my allowance. So I'm going to be using the 7 inch. So that is 7 and a half. So this edge is already out. So I'm just using seven and a half. That half an inch is the allowance that I'm going to be using to be sewing. The fabric is, is, is small. So I'm actually supposed to use uh, at least between one and two inch as my allowance. But because this fabric is small, so that's why I'm using half an inch. So if you are cutting, don't use half an inch. Use between one and two inches as your seam allowance. It's because this fabric but for the sake of the illustration it has to go on so that is why i'm just using half an inch as my allowance so this is how you get your your curve remember this first one i'm not using it so it's the second one i'm using so this is how you get your how you cut your free hand flay so i'll just take my my tape uh, sorry my scissors like this and then cut outside my lines like this I just cut it and then cut at this point also don't always cut on the line directly don't cut on the line directly so you can see my flay. you can see the flay it's just so perfect so at the end of the day at the end of the day at the end of the day this is what i have this is what I have for my peplum blouse. Like I told you, I said you can use this cut. You can use it. This uh, princess that you can use it for children. You can use it for your English clothes. If you don't eat your English clothes, just go out and buy a fabric and just make an English top. You can use it. You can see this is uh, the blouse. You can see it's a peplum blouse with princess that. So I have actually come to the end of this illustration. So if you find this video useful, please don't hesitate to like my video like the video share the video actually and um actually just like the video it's liking the video actually means a lot to me and uh, it makes me to know that you actually appreciate what i do so please don't hesitate just like the video and if you're having any problem with regarding so please don't hesitate just drop your comment on the comment section thank you so much for watching bye god bless you so wrap.